you give us an idea of what you hope to accomplish at the stadium and how might the format be changed there tomorrow? Yeah, Tony, what we want to do is kind of get in there, get our uniforms on, get what it feels like coming out of that locker room. S some guys, myself included, uh, haven't spent a lot of time in that building. So that's kind of what we're thinking. We'll have It'll look like a normal practice for most of it. Then we'll go to uh, a move the ball competitive period uh, type drill. So th this first one is, is really that. The second time we get in there, we'll really use it as a dress rehearsal, uh, both literally with, with, again, them wearing the uniforms, but we'll have headsets on and, and, and the scoreboard and, and, and all of that. Uh, just use it as a dress rehearsal, both for our uh, staff and for our players. Thanks. Scott Patrick, you have the next question. Hey, Kevin, I know you talked a little bit about Malcolm Smith the other day after you guys signed him. Um, but what have you seen about, seen from him so far? And having a guy with that much experience, is there a comfort level there that if you need to put him in, he's going to know what to do? Yeah, you know, he's a very intelligent player. He has uh, experience in this scheme, although the terminology isn't exactly the same. So it's going to take a minute here for him. But really pleased so far. And, and it's early. He just hasn't had a ton of exposure. I haven't had a ton of exposure to him. But uh, my interactions with him, uh, I think he's a really heady football player with, with good experience in this scheme. Mary Kay Cabot, you're up. Hey, Coach, in these um, couple of stadium practices that you do, uh, will you have enough uh, work to give uh, Alex Van Pelt in, in the realm of, of calling the plays down at the stadium to sort of get that simulation of what you were looking for from the preseason games to help make your determination on if he'll call the plays or, or how you'll make that decision? Yeah, I think we're looking at it, Mary Kay, from the standpoint is it's really good for all of us to get in that building, to go through all the – getting players in and out of the huddle on the sideline. So all of that that goes into playing a game, I think is really beneficial. And just like that, just just getting the offense in the field, getting plays called, getting them out of the huddle, all of that is good reps for us. Will he do that though? Like during the competitive period, will you have him kind of calling them? Well, we have a plan. I think we're gonna mix it uh, this week, um, but we're kind of, I'm sticking to the plan. And I, I, I promise I will, update you guys when appropriate. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. We'll go back to Tony Grossi. Kevin, the question of team chemistry has been asked since March, really. Uh, is, it, is there a chance that the dialogue and, and the racial injustice subject has the consequence of maybe creating more chemistry? And uh, is that real, do you think? Can it, can it transfer to the field? I, I didn't get the last part of that, Tony, but I think I got the gist of, of what you're asking. And I think, yeah, there have been, uh, uh, there's a lot going on in this world. So going back to the spring, going back to May, I think we've had a lot of hard conversations and I think guys have, have been able to share with each other, uh, which has been really important because you can't just sit in the locker room and sit next to each other and cut it up like you have in the past. I mean, it's just, you physically can't do that. So there's definitely been a push from me, from our players, to get to know each other uh, as best we can, as fast as we can under these circumstances. And we'll go back to Mary Kay. Uh, hey, Coach, just wondering, we talked to Bill Callahan today about um, a little bit about Jed Wills and some other things. But uh, as, as far as Jed is concerned, you know, you can kind of see his progress. But is the, are you guys 100% committed still to playing him at left tackle for the opener. I mean, is that still the plan? Yes. Okay. And that, and you will not waver off that no matter what you see over the next week and a half. I don't think, no. Okay. And do you expect to see, to put miles over him even maybe a little bit more as you guys go along in the next eight days or so? I'd say that's more uh, what we want to do defensively. If that's something that we want to do less so than what it means to Jedrick. All right, thank you. Scott Patrick. Um, Miles talked about with Jedrick, he's seen him get discouraged at times when he struggles on the practice field. Have you noticed that? And have you had a talk with him about keeping his head up? I think 
every position, uh, it's an occupational hazard that you're going to get beat, whether you're a safety or a corner or a tackle. Uh, it just happens in this game. And so I haven't noticed that specifically from Jed, but I just know every player, young and old, is going to get beat, and then you got to bounce back. And I make a big point when the offense makes a really good play in practice, next play. And when the offense makes a bad play or the defense makes a good play or a bad play, you just have to be, have a next play mentality as a team and as a player. So you haven't noticed anything linger with him? If he has a bad play, it leads to another bad play? No. Take two more, Marla and then Tony. Marla, you're up. Uh, yeah, Coach. Uh, I just wondered as far in terms of Nick Harris, what has where has he made the most strides? I'd say just a general understanding of what we're trying to do, Marla. I, I think – Center is, is a position that you're really, you're making a lot of calls. You're running the show. Uh, so, and we were fortunate to have JC, a veteran who's seen a lot. And then you have a young kid in there who hasn't. Uh, and to his credit, he's every day gotten better and understanding the defensive looks that he's going to see. Is it more like his strides seem like more mental maybe than fit the physical? Uh... I, I think it's both. Uh, I think, these guys work very hard on their technique uh, with Coach Callahan and Coach Peters. So you definitely are seeing technique things, improvements show up as well. Thanks. Tony Grossi, final question. Kevin, a little surprising to see Andrew pick up a wide receiver at this point. Is this a case of uh, a coach or yourself being familiar with this player, or is it strictly adding a talent that they like? Yeah, Tony, I just think Andrew and his staff every day – have meetings and, and, and discuss what we want to do roster wise discuss it with the coaches, see what's available and see if it can help us improve. <laughs>